Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Rock Bottom Airsoft. It's good to see you again. If it's your first time here, as always, it's good to see you. Today's video, we're going to be doing a follow-up on the Armour of Works VX0111 pistol. Uh, you remember I did a previous video with an unboxing and gave my first impressions on the pistol and said what I thought about it out of the box. Since then, uh, I've had a chance to go out and skirmish this pistol and have a few games with it and get a feel for what it was like when it was out in the field. Now, where I play, as many of you will already know, is in the Highlands of Scotland. Uh, the day in question when I played, it was a, an average day. We had a bit of rain, a bit of sunshine, a bit of wind. Uh, so it got a really good test. I used it in most games. Uh, I already put a video out earlier in the week as you may have seen where there was a bit of gameplay and the pistol was in that as well but I didn't get to use it quite as much as I wanted in that particular game. So in this video I've got a bit of footage of the pistol in use uh, various times I used it so you can see it actually being used in the field and uh, you know that just shows that it, it has had a, a thorough test out um, in the place where, where I always intend to use all my replicas. So the if you want to uh, have a look at that footage, uh, I'll put that in just now. You can watch me run around with that and uh, and get a few hits with it and get hit a few times while carrying it. And then when you've had a watch of that footage, I'll come back and uh, we'll we'll go through a bit of a rundown and say what we we really think about this pistol. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm all right. Okay, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that footage. Uh, got as much as I could uh, showing the pistol in use. Now, so just a recap really, um, before we go into my, my final opinion on this pistol. This is the Armour of Works VX0111 pistol. It's basically a, a customised G17 series gas blowback pistol. It runs on green gas. Uh, you can get uh, CO2 magazines for this pistol and as far as I'm aware it's ready to go for CO2 directly out of the box but when you buy the pistol you receive one green gas magazine which is a really nice magazine I mean every time I see this I, I can't get over how nice I think that is it's very reflective very bling I really like it uh, so that's that's the one you get in the box with it now, now that I've had a chance to test this in the field, I can confirm that WE Glock magazines or G series magazines will fit in this pistol. It will accept them with no problems at all. Um, and the slide will stay back on the last shot. So the WE G series magazines, they will work in this Armour of Works pistol no problem. So you can either buy the Armour of Works magazines or the WE magazines, or if you already have some WE magazines, 
they'll work in this pistol just fine. What you'll find is, with the difference to the magazines, the Armourer Works ones obviously are in this nice shiny silver bling. You can get them in black as well, um, but they do have a slightly enlarged base plate on the magazine. Uh, with some cutouts in there, I suppose to make it easier to remove the magazine from a pouch or indeed from the pistol. But they do drop out quite freely. The pistol itself, that retails for between £140 British pounds and £160. Pounds. So not the cheapest G-Series pistol available, but as I discovered, a very good quality G-Series pistol. Um, it does feel really well put together, it feels really nice in the hand. I love the look of it, it might not be to everybody's taste, uh, but for a race style G-Series pistol, I think it looks really nice, I really like it. Now, with regard to all the cutouts, the hex cuts, the hex cuts on the grip, they didn't pose any problems in the field. Uh, it wasn't difficult to clean. I was able to clean out most of these grooves and these hex cuts with no problem at all. The shape does not affect its fitment in holsters. This fit into my retention holster with no problem at all. It also fit in universal holsters with no problem at all. The hard profile retention holster that I have for my G18 and also my other G17 series pistols as well as my G19X pistols and G19, this fit in the same holster with no problems at all. It clipped in solidly, it didn't fall out. Uh, so you can use your existing holster to hold this modified version. What I found when I was shooting it, um, the first magazine that I used, it was a very cold day. It didn't manage to empty the mag with a full gas charge. There were about four or five BBs left in this magazine by the end of the uh, the gas running out. It didn't vent, it just wasn't able to cycle the slide far enough to chamber the next BB. The WE magazine on the other hand, which has been used many times before, is an older magazine. That did manage to run through two lots of BBs before it needed to be regassed. So I think the gas issues that I were having with regards to the gas efficiency they weren't so much down to the pistol as they were down to the magazine. Now that might be because it's a brand new magazine. I maybe didn't fill it quite as much or I've been being a bit too tentative with it. On the second filling of gas, I did manage to get a full mag and a half out of this before it needed to be re-gassed. Um, so overall, gas-wise, very similar to any other WE G series pistol that I have on the amount of shots you get before you need to regas it on a cold Scottish Highland day. With regard to shooting performance, the range was absolutely fine, the hop up was effective. Um, accuracy wise, it was as accurate as any other airsoft pistol that I have. Didn't get the range that my Mark 23 would get, uh, but that's to be expected on a, a gas blowback versus a non blowback. Um, Again, as, as, as a sidearm, plenty of range. With regard to the controls on the pistol, the stippling, really nice. Um, that, that did give me a good positive grip on the pistol, as you'll see in the video. I never slipped out my hands or anything like that. Uh, the one thing that I did find, and I mentioned in the previous video, is this mag release. Um, obviously, there's a reason for it standing out and being a bit more proud than you would normally find on a G-Series pistol. But yet again, mid-game, I went to pull the trigger and I caught the mag release and the magazine dropped. Um, I did that when I was test shooting it here. Um, I think that's more to do with user error than the pistol because I do have quite large hands and I was gripping the pistol quite tightly, so it's quite easy for me to catch that mag release, but it is something to bear in mind uh, that you can catch that quite easily. So overall, I really like it. Um, it's a really nice pistol. I'm really glad I bought it. It's not the cheapest G-Series pistol you can buy, as I say, uh, but I think it will last me a long time. It served me well in the games that I played on Sunday. Uh, so I, I'm more than happy for it to uh, to be recommended. Uh, if you're after a G-Series pistol and you want something that's a, 
a little bit unusual looking, a little bit flasher than your average G-Series. Um, more race inspired, I suppose, then this, this could very well be the G-Series pistol for you and it should work absolutely fine. Okay, so as always, if you are enjoying my series of videos, if you're finding them useful, then please subscribe to the channel. Uh, you'll be notified whenever I release a new video. You'll be able to keep up with any bonus videos I put on, such as gameplay videos and, and that type of thing. And if you like this video, then drop a like on it. Uh, if you want to put a comment at the bottom, if you need more information, or if you've got any recommendations for my channel, or any suggestions for future content, then drop a comment at the bottom there. I'll always try and get back to you in the comments. And if you want to see more content from myself, uh, photographs, charts, discussions, that type of thing, then don't forget to check out Rock Bottom Airsoft on Facebook and also on Instagram. But until then, I will see you in the next one.